Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we're taking down the side quest, Journey's End. This is the end of our Quidditch for the year. Uh, we're next year. I'm thinking we're going to become a beater. Broom glitch. A bit of a broom glitch there. Hey guys. Let's celebrate. It looks, it looks a bit somber in here. We did it. We actually won the match. We only need to tie to win the Quidditch Cup. And we got a 60 point lead. And we won the Quidditch Cup. I couldn't have caught the snitch without you, Shiny. Yeah, you're welcome. Taking a bludger from Wrath like that. Stuff of legend, that is. Every member of our team contributed to our victory. We have travelled far together. Every step we took brought us here. And now, we've completed our quest. We've won. Quidditch Cup for Gryffindor. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, clap it, clap each other. Let's discuss our journey. Let us reflect on where we have been and who we are now. The team that won the Quidditch Cup. Yes. Let's do that. Let's reflect. So, first of all, we're listening to Orion speak for an hour. Oh, my God. Through every achievement, there is great struggle. There is nothing deeper than the great deep. We won the Quidditch Cup with patience, fire, determination, and loyalty. Fire? Point did we... I don't remember burning any Ravenclaws. We are the champions of our house. And of one another. All of our lucky rituals worked. The kippers haven't failed me yet. Well done, Chaser. Can you show me how, how you got around Wrath? It was brilliant. Yes. Blind spot. Sky and Murphy must be thrilled. What have you got to say? Be yourself, Beta. I haven't done any classwork in ages. So I could practice. And it was worth it. Yes, it was worth it. Raph didn't look too happy about losing, did she? I mean, she was never going to. Today, its victory belongs not only to our house, but to our bond as a team. Yes. I have a bludger in my face. I'd have a bludger in my face if it wasn't for you, Shiny. You're a hero, Shiny! Stop it. Oh, guys. Guys. They're all looking to me like I'm I'm the big I did everything and I'm just like really? Of course I did everything. I'm the only one in control of the controls. <laughs> Deep. This triumph belongs not to one player, but to all. Yeah. I'm proud of each and every one of you. You've earned this victory. We are the pride of Gryffindor. Woo! Yes. All right. I'm not going to get... What, what's, why aren't me and her not getting involved in the old clapping? We came as fast as we could. You wouldn't believe how thick that crowd is. We wanted to congratulate you. Pulling off a move like that without practicing it first. Let's just see. It was absolutely smashing. That's an understatement, Shiny, as a star. More importantly, the team earned 850 points in the course of three games, which means we won the Quidditch Cup. Oh no, which means we won the Quidditch Cup. I wanted to congratulate you all for a match well played, particularly you, Shiny. Thank you, Madam Hooch. There will be a ceremony later to award you the Quidditch Cup. I'll be there. I believe your fellow Gryffindors are waiting for you in the common room. We better get there quickly before they drink all the butter beer, eh? Let's go. You and the Quidditch Cup. I knew you could do it, Shiny. Good match, Shiny. Thank you, Jay. Guardian Leviosa. Nope. Still can't do it. Mm, nah. Still at it. Madam Hooch said everyone was waiting in our common room. She wasn't kidding. You've got to have a party after winning, winning the Quidditch Cup. Yes. Yes, we do. Better get used to this sort of thing. Part of being a Quidditch champion. Speech! Perhaps not a speech, but I would like to propose a toast. 
every player on the Gryffindor team. To winning the Quidditch Cup. To beating Ravenclaw. Who will you toast, Shiny? Toast. Gryffindor and everyone in it. Everyone. Yeah. And finally, to victory. Now, let us party. Yeah, everyone. Everybody who came to the matches was cheering us on. I don't know without you. It was... Oh, you were special. Peter Penny can't come to a Gryffindor party, right? It was a difficult match, but we won. You were smashing, Shiny. Thank you, Sky. I'm very proud of all my members of my team. There's a 98.4% chance I'll talk about your match for years to come, Shiny. 98.4%, dang, that's, that's good. Not the first championship party I've been to, but definitely the best. But a beer on my robes is a badge of victory, not a spillage. We should invent tactics together more often. You're the star of the team now, Shiny. Pity Penny can't now. Pity Penny. Pity Penny can't come. It's a pity Penny can't come. Success. I think Professor McGonagall is trying to get your attention. Are we too loud, Professor McGonagall? It's no matter. I'm familiar with our post-match revelries. I'm simply here to congratulate our Quidditch team on their victory and on overcoming a fierce an opponent as Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. I hope you'll save some of your enthusiasm for the ceremony. After all, it wouldn't do to accept the Quidditch Cup without the appropriate celebration. Now, if you excuse me, Professor Flitwick owes me some gillyweed. Is that what you bet? It wasn't easy winning the Quidditch Cup. Not a lot of people could do that, especially someone so new to Quidditch. You're a smashing Quidditch player. Once I head back to the stands, all of this celebrating is a bit overwhelming. I'll be I'll meet you at the Quidditch Stadium. In a bit. Can't talk just yet. I'll meet you in the Quidditch stands. Yes you will. Once I've waited you out. Done. I've waited you out. Time to talk with Sky. Meet her in the uh the Quidditch stands. Where it all began. It all began here. Oh, yeah. Glad to be back in the stands. Parties are a bit stifling, even victory parties. Win or lose, I'd rather celebrate with my mates. And what better place than we first met? As I recall, I was here in the stands, and you were on a broomstick, saving my face from one of Rath's bludges. Glad I did, otherwise who would have filled in for the chaser Rath getting injured? Suppose we should thank Rath. None of this would have happened without her. Shame she knocked that bludger at me, though. Did you ever wonder what would have happened if you hadn't gone to that friendly? What do you mean? What would have happened? Would you still be on the team? Um, I would have joined the team anyway. Quidditch update. Good answer. Nice to know you got your priorities. But if I weren't for her, I could have played in the final match. Yeah, you played in the first two. Are you alright? It will be. You just have to look forward. We have good times to look back on too. Let's check. Can't wait to fly again. Oh, uh, we'll win the Quidditch Cup together one day. We won it together. Try not to hit any of Wrath's bludgers. Trust me. Like, the first and second game were just as important as the last. You asked me to train after the first match you saw, remember? Train you. Orion's proud of you. I can tell. Can't wait to play again. Oh, we'll be back on that. Let's listen to what I've got to say. Are you healing all right? Will you be allowed to play Quidditch ever again soon? Soon. Soon. Yeah. We will have four chases when we are back on the team. Yeah. Hmm. Everything's happened. Everything happened because of Rath's bludger. Penny suggested I ask you to train me. The rest is history. Murphy's commentary was brilliant, don't you think? And this last one? Last wonder. Done. Success. It's funny, isn't it? it? Seems like I taught you the Parkinson's pincer. Now you're a shiny hunter. Quidditch star. 
Perhaps I couldn't win the Quidditch Cup, but I trained one of the best pit chasers on the pitch. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't, or if you hadn't stopped that bludger at your first friendly. And we wouldn't have won the Quidditch Cup without you. I suppose there's no point in looking back anymore. The future's what matters. And in that future, I'll be at this, in the ceremony with you, because we'll have won the Quidditch Cup. You, you won it together! Speaking of ceremonies, we're going to have to go. Right, we've got to accept the cup. I'll meet you at the ceremony. Got to clear my head a bit, but I'm happy for you, Shiny. You were absolutely smashing. Thank you. To the ceremony. Yeah, and then it's like you got to do two. You got to battle two uh, Quidditch matches, which personally I absolutely hate. <laughs> it means you have to wait seventy hours, or you could skip and avoid it. But no one's giving. Welcome to our Quidditch Cup ceremony. What do I need to do exactly? It's a simple ceremony. You and I will accept the trophy on Gryffindor's behalf. Okay. What about Sky and Murphy? Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here. Sky has decided to remain in the audience as she was unable to play in the match. Murphy is in attendance to add color commentary. What about Rath? What is she doing here? She's embodying good sportsmanship. As we must hope we do in our place. She's come to see us accept the Quidditch Cup. Which we must so presently. Do so presently. Is it saying now or like? This is my pleasure to announce the winners of the Quidditch Cup. Why is, there, why is she in the audience? Why is she not on our side? It makes no sense. After winning their first two matches, their victory in the final solidified, in the final solidified their position in first place. Riffendor. Gryffindor. Yes. I believe Gryffindor captain has a few words prepared. Isn't that right, Mr. Amari? It is. The Gryffindor team, our team, has faced many trials on the journey to the Quidditch Cup. Unfortunately, many victories. That's it. Accidents pulled our team apart and also brought us together. Through it all, we never lost our balance. Took that journey with patience, tenacity, loyal, and team fire. However, I believe Shiny has earned particular recognition. No Quidditch team could win the cup without good chasers on their side. Well, you could, but it's extremely unlikely. Stop stealing Amari's moment, Murphy. I put the odds at 0.01%. And then you have to factor in win conditions. Mr. McNully. Just adding a bit of colour, Madam Hooch. What words would you like us to share? To share with us, Chani? We all won. I wouldn't be here without my team and my friends. Truth. We all won the Quidditch Cup together. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo -woo. And that concludes our ceremony. All that's left to say is, well done, Gryffindor. Thank you, Hoochie Hooch. I love a good Quidditch story, especially when it's got a happy ending. Don't be daft. Nothing's ending. What do you mean? There's always more Quidditch to play. Meet me on the Quidditch pitch later. You'll see what I mean. Okay. How much later? Oh, no later. Just now. You're here, smashing. I've got news. Ugh. Really? What news? And does your news have connection to the Quidditch supplies you've re requisitioned? What do you need a beater's bat? What for? Or bludgers? They're for practice. I'm officially cleared to play Quidditch again. That's fantastic, Sky. Yes, he's back. Indeed, excellent news. We will complete our team. Should we have the rest of the team here to practice with us? Mm, yeah. Don't feel up to a formal practice just yet, but if I don't get on a broomstick soon, I'll go mental. We could fly about a bit, no practice, no lessons. Just three t t chasers and the world's best commentator. I won't feel like I'm back without some colour commentary. I think I know just the wizard. And let's take to the skies, not only as teammates, but as friends. Complete. 
Oh no, it's not gonna be. <laughs> still gotta, we still gotta take flight. Take flight, guys. Skyrockers in flight. Boo! Afternoon delight. Take flight. Oh! We are balanced on brooms, metaphorically and literally. There is no room for conflict in the sky. Only peace. We haven't flown outside of the practice and lessons in ages. None of our own creatures can fly. Imagine a flobble worm on a broom. It'd be a spectacular thing. Nothing quite like the wind on your face, is there? Yeah, sun on your face. Way better. Way better than wind on your face. It's nice not to worry about matches or angry beaters. I think I swallowed a bug. Excellent flying from parking. Looks like this chaser has made a full recovery. Do a sloth grip roll. We are balanced on our brooms. Okay, we get it. Get it around. Metaphorically and literally. Oh! 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 A beer's got out! Oh god, no, it's gonna injure Sky again! We're gonna go for Murphy! I mean, literally! Are you alright, Murphy? Why did he go for the disabled guy? Uh, alright. <laughs> Shiny learned to protect spectators from the best. Suppose I did. Battling the blood during such a manner, you could have been a bit of a beater in. <laughs> Wrong accent. Shiny, a beater? Me playing beater? I wonder what that would be like. Is that possible? Hmm. Anything is possible if one opens the mind. Possibility. Wow. Go on then. Walk on the sun in the next 10 minutes. You said anything's possible. Prove it, Orion. Do it. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quest. That's our, that's our first year as Quidditch players complete. Next year, we'll be potentially becoming beaters. I'm going to be excited for that. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It helps, helps the channel out. And hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content and information. That is all from me. See you guys soon.